So I'm Nihal Bhutta. I am uh, the Professor of Public International Law here at Edinburgh. Um, for the last few years, the sort of questions that I've been interested in exploring in my research relate to a range of different things. But uh, one of them is about the rise of autonomous weapon systems and their relationship with the laws of war and human rights law. Uh, in a way, the, our starting point for the debate on autonomous weapons was uh, artificial in, in as much as it relied on a kind of fantastic idea of uh, a fully autonomous weapon system, which doesn't exist. Um, and one of the, the lines of inquiry that I've been working on is to try to change the subject in a way and, and urge us to look at the ways in which uh, in increasingly autonomous uh, systems will emerge where particular kinds of decision making particular kinds of judgment could be delegated to forms of artificial intelligence where the human is still involved uh, in making final decisions, but where we rely increasingly upon outputs from autonomous systems in order to make the determinations that we need to make under law uh, 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 about whether or not a particular action is legal. Um, and it seems to me that, uh, that what we need to be really looking at quite carefully is the way in which we're placing trust in these forms of artificial intelligence and machine learning to make judgments for us and the way in which we rely upon them. Um, and so uh, my uh, ambition in the next year or two is to develop another line of inquiry, another kind of dimension to the project uh, by, uh, by trying to find out more and trying to inquire more into the ways in which uh, um, uh, machine learning actually takes place, the kinds of um, uh, uh, conclusions that can be reached through machine learning and reflecting on uh, whether or not those conclusions can be really considered to be sound from the perspective of somebody that's evaluating the legality of a particular decision. Mm -hmm.